As cliche as it sounds, President Trump's Jobs Not Mobs slogan may just be the linchpin for a red wave next Tuesday. On one side, you have people who are concerned with employment and border security, but also take time to mourn for victims of a horrific massacre. And on the other side, you have those like this Georgetown professor who are desperate to blame anything and everything they can on a president who has refused to conform to their ideological agenda. Let's take a look. If you're a regular watcher of Campus Unmasked, you might remember Georgetown professor Christine Fair. You also might recall that her faculty profile is quite a bit different from her Twitter account, where she describes herself as an intersectional feminist, pitbull apostle, and resistor. Now, don't get me wrong, Georgetown is a very good school, but you wouldn't know it by looking at Christine's tweets, the substance of which isn't well-articulated fact-based arguments, but instead ad hominem smears and incitement to violence. She responded to Trump's Pittsburgh visit saying, this narcissistic sack of scat manages to make massacres caused by him, about him, even while he crashed the funeral of his victims. He's pond scum. Now, it may not come as a shock that Christine provides no evidence for how exactly Trump caused the shooting. Of course, this isn't the first unhinged remark from the esteemed professor. During the Kavanaugh hearing, she tweeted, Look at this course of entitled white men justifying a serial rapist's arrogated entitlement. All of them deserve miserable deaths while feminists laugh as they take their last gasps. Bonus, we castrate their corpses and feed them to swine? Yes. Twitter suspended Christine after that tweet, but then told me on background that it had done so by accident and reinstated her. She did, however, lose her little blue check mark. But Professor Fair doesn't just display poor judgment in the content of her statements, she also does in her chosen targets. She maintains a blog called Tenacious Hell Pussy, a nasty woman posting from the front lines of f where she's dedicated a couple of pretty extensive posts to bashing a couple of my former and current student reporters at Campus Reform who had the audacity to write about her. Yeah, behavior like this is sure to make people vote for the Democrats on November 6th. When they go low, or when we say they go low, we go lower. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.